Most people are familiar with the idea of Google Maps. This is a similar scheme looking at brain at progressively higher magnifications. We're now looking at a slab that's about a tenth of a millimeter in height of a small piece of brain where some of those nerve cells, they're now all kind of pink in color, are interposed with blood vessels. And then a bunch of other things, these yellowish objects, are the processes that come off of nerve cells called dendrites. These are the antennas of nerve cells that receive information. Now looking at a box that's 10 microns, which is about a hundredth of a millimeter in height. And now you see that even between the dendrites of cells, which are labeled yellow, there are lots of other things that are labeled blue, which are the axons of nerve cells from other parts of the brain that happen to be trying to make connections with the nerve cells, the dendrites. We're gonna zoom up by another factor of three in this box, now we finally see the places where the axons of some cells are beginning to communicate with the dendrites of other cells. And axons and dendrites talk to each other through synapses. Synapses are where axons of some neurons are making connections with the dendrites of other cells. And the way axons tell dendrites things is by releasing neurotransmitter packets that have hundreds or thousands of neurotransmitter molecules. These little packets are called synaptic vesicles and they're labeled here as little yellow spheres. The brain is made up of trillions of these synapses. One of our goals is to try to get some sense of what kinds of organizational principles emerge looking at the brain at the level of resolution of seeing every single synapse.